Welcome back. You and I talk a lot about border security and illegal immigration in this country, but in Europe, a mass migration of refugees from the Middle East continues to overwhelm the continent. John Bachman has more on this story. John? The wave of migrants from places like Syria and events this week are testing what some call a core European value, open borders. Today, Hungary's defense minister says up to 3,500 soldiers could be sent to their southern border with Serbia to help with this crisis. The European Union's border agency says they are also seeing a ton of fake passports, raising security concerns and creating a new booming industry for criminal gangs. Also today, a fifth suspect is now under arrest tied to the deaths of 71 migrants found in a truck on the highway to Vienna, Austria. That case has also led to increased traffic inspections and near gridlock conditions along key European trade routes. And Angela Merkel, Chancellor of Germany, says the influx of migrants isn't slowing down anytime soon. We have a huge challenge ahead of us, and it affects all of us. It will be a central challenge, not for the coming days or months, but for the unforeseeable future. The question is, are U.S. lawmakers watching as Europe ponders closing its borders? Are members of Congress and presidential candidates willing to do the same? Back to you, J.D. Thanks very much, John. For more on this story, let's welcome from Newsmax Washington, the former Hungarian ambassador to the U.S., Andres Samoni. Andres, Budapest's main station closed to refugees today following a chaotic scene on Monday when thousands of refugees were allowed to board trains headed to Germany and Austria without visa checks. And that led to several protests today. Hungarian officials say they were enforcing the law now several Balkan countries are closing their borders. How does this conflict with the open border policy of the EU? Well, uh, first of all, uh, I, was, I was in Budapest two weeks ago, and the situation is, is, is as bad as you describe it. Um, I just, just hope that uh, we will very quickly find a common solution, a European Union solution, uh, to the crisis. Hungary on its own cannot deal, deal with the problem. Uh, but I'd also like to uh, add that if the result of the um, influx of migrants and refugees will be the closing down of the so-called Schengen borders, which is the over, open borders inside Europe, this would be tragic. And we're back to where we were 25 years ago, and we don't want that to happen. I just want to add one thing. We all knew, as especially experts dealing with, with, with uh, the Middle East, North Africa, uh, the Balkans, we all knew this was, this was coming. And I'm, I'm just terrified how uh, Europe, uh, our leaders in Europe, uh, did not uh, take uh, the necessary steps uh, to, to prevent this, uh, this crisis. Well, what, could have, what steps could have been taken if if nations don't enforce their borders, if you have open borders? Well, I think uh, we do not have open borders uh, at the south of Hungary. The open borders is really inside the European Union, between members of the European uh, Union and countries that are part of the so-called uh, Schengen Agreement. That is a very limited uh, number of countries, and it's very important to know that that is taken very, very seriously. Border controls and uh, border uh, protection is taken very, very seriously. But, you know, when it is thousands and thousands of desperate refugees who would do anything to enter the European Union uh, that we are confronted with, uh, uh, the, the, the way we used to deal with our border controls, our, our, our border protection, is, is not sufficient. I would add to this that, uh, of course, uh, I agree with you, uh, uh, protecting our borders is a top priority. I don't think uh, barbed wires uh, in, in itself uh, will uh, be a solution. Um, I'm not very pleased with the barbed wires being placed in uh, the south of Hungary. It, bring back, it brings back very bad memories of just 25 years ago when we were cut off from the, from, from the rest of the world, uh, when, the, uh, when an iron, iron curtain, which looked very similar, um, um, was uh, was holding us back, but let me yeah, say. Yeah, but this. that's the difference, it's right? The iron curtain was to hold you back. Border. The the iron curtain was to hold you back. 
There is a difference yeah, between that's, that that's, and the free movement of people that has to be regulated for a nation's own security. Uh, is there not a clear difference there? 45 seconds, Andres. Of course, there is, a, there is a clear difference. I'm just saying that emotionally, this is a very sad situation that suddenly Hungary is now um, is, is basically in a situation where it's, it chose to erect uh, uh, these, uh, uh, the, the bar, you know, the, the defenses around Hungary. But let me say this, it's really not about the barbed wire. It's about, it's a very complex situation and only a complex answer is going to solve this. Now, the problem is that, uh, that uh, we, we did not uh, understand that this is going to be uh, a territory for organized crime. Uh, did we not know that people who are uh, desperate to get away from war zones uh, are going to do and everything to it is a to, tragic uh, combination. Andres, we will have to leave it there. We'll have you back as we keep our eyes on this situation. And there's more to come, so stay with us.